Hi friends, Randy Caulfield here. Um, so yesterday, Pastor Billy preached from the book of James on the issue of anger uh, at, at River Church on Sunday morning. I was there, did a great job. Shout out to Billy. Um, and it's a, it's quite, it's a quite relevant uh, topic, obviously, because the day we live in, there's a lot of anger and given the circumstances, there's a lot of opportunity to be angry. Uh, and, and anger is, it's a, it's a God issue. It's a spiritual issue, as, as, as Billy pointed out yesterday. So I've been thinking about something Billy said, and that is that there is a righteous sort of an anger. There's an anger that's like God's anger. That God gets angry. And that there are times in which we can appropriately be angry because our heart is going to, to be aligned with God's heart. Uh, but most of my anger is not godly anger. It's selfish anger. Billy preached on that. The sermon's online. You can see that. But, but here's, here's where I want to go. Uh, I've, I've been thinking about uh, an instance, an example of God getting angry. And the example you're probably familiar with, you, you probably read it before, and that's where Jesus uh, goes into the temple and he kicks tail. He, he overturns uh, money tables and he... He really, he really, he really uh, goes off. I want you to understand the context of that so you can understand uh, the heart of God in that moment in time because it represents God's heart for all time because God's heart doesn't change. And so I want my, uh, if I'm ever angry, I want it to be like God. I want my anger, anger to, to be a righteous anger. I'm not sure it ever is, uh, but I want it to be. So, so let's, let's talk about that story. Uh, here's the context uh, it is, it, it's in the story of the gospel story of Jesus' life, the account of his life in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's the last week of his life. He, uh, it's the triumphal entry. You know, he's, he comes into Jerusalem on a donkey and they're throwing, they're throwing palm fronds on the ground and they're, they're crying out, Hosanna, save us, Jesus. But they really mean save us from, uh, the oppression of Rome, save us, uh, uh, politically and, 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 and with, with, in a military sort of a way, which is, of course, not why Jesus ever came. Uh, Jesus comes into the, to the, to the city. He goes straight to the temple. He goes straight into the temple. And here's what's going on. There is this, there is this portion of the temple which is called the Court of the Gentiles. Now, I'm not Jewish, so I would have only been welcome in the court of the Gentiles. Most of you, that's where you would have been. That's where we would have been welcome. The court of the Gentiles were for those people who, who did not know God uh, from, the, from their family's tradition. Like, they didn't grow up uh, worshiping the God of the Bible. They were not Jewish. But there was this place for them, for them to come and for them to hear about God's love. And for it to, 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 to draw them in and for them to be captivated. And for ultimately, uh, ultimately for them to become followers of Jehovah God. For them to uh, become true believers, children of God. That was the court of the Gentiles. That's where the people who didn't know God could come and hear about God. And so Jesus comes in and he's angry. But here's why he's angry. Because the court of the Gentiles, which was which was exponentially greater, larger than the, the other areas. Think on that. That's the heart of God for the lost and the wandering and, and the, um, <clears throat> yes, the, the, those who don't know him yet. That's, that's God's heart. So this, 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 this court of the Gentiles, exponentially greater, the, the biggest area in the temple. And, and, and Jesus comes in there, and what's going on is he calls it a den of thieves because the Israelites, the, the, the people, the locals, they had made it into a marketplace where they were selling animals. Um, many people were coming to, to Jerusalem and coming to the temple for their religi religious practices. And so these, these opportunistic um, entrepreneurs were selling stuff and, and exchanging money. And they, were, they had their tables of money set up, and they were crowding uh, they were crowding the court of the Gentiles. Like, who cares about the Gentiles? Who cares about them coming to faith? And Jesus was angry. He was angry that the, the court of the Gentiles was being filled by, by, by money changing and, and thievery. And he, he screams. I can imagine the temple halls rattling as he, as he, as he belts out, um, this is the house of God. This is meant to be a house of prayer, and yet you have made it into a den 
of thieves. And he turns over the tables. He gets, he makes a whip and he starts angrily um, driving out these opportunistic um, thieves who were taking people's money and, and at the same time they were robbing the Gentiles of the opportunity to hear of God's love and to become children of God themselves. So, so the heart of God, the heart of God is, is for us to make space for those who don't, don't yet know him. God's heart is, is for us to, it's, 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 for the, it's for the unbeliever. His heart is, is for the lost. It's, his heart is for the wandering. And it, his, his desire is that we would make a space for those people. And then we would welcome them in. We wouldn't crowd them out. If there's something that we could be, be angry about that would, um, that would resonate with God, it would be an anger regarding anything that keeps people at bay when it comes to the story of Jesus, when it keeps people at arm's length. If there's anything going on in our church or within the church globally that's, that is causing people to feel like they're not welcome, whatever it might be, that, they're, that they're, they're kept at bay, they're kept at arm's length, that they're, they're unclean and, and they have no business trying to draw near to God. Um, that is what angers God. The heart of God is for the lost. The heart of God is for the wandering. The heart of God is for the unclean who are looking to, to be drawn in and, and made new again. And so if you want your heart to be like God's heart, God's heart beats, resonates, it's passionate toward the lost the wandering, the, the spiritually bankrupt, those who don't yet know him, who are all around us. May our heart beat with God's heart for the lost. May, may what makes God angry make us angry. When we see something that's keeping people away from God systematically or otherwise, may that make us angry. And may our, may our heart beat with God's heart in, in that we, we are delighted by the, the prospect of of the lost coming to know our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.